Hello! Besides lower second premolars, maxillary uh, lateral incisors are the most often congenitally missing teeth. They are often replaced with cantilevered single retainer resin bonded bridges. On the two images you see two single retainer resin bonded bridges which were used to replace two resin bonded bridges with two retainers which failed. We know that two retainer resin bonded uh, fixed dental prosthesis or bridges are fading much more often than single retainer resin bonded bridges. Now the question is which is a better abutment tooth? Should we use a canine as a standard abutment or should we use a central incisor? There are distinct advantages of using the central incisor. For that reason, we are using the central incisor in about, I would say, 95% of the cases. What are the advantages? First, the bonding surface at the central incisor is much larger at the canine, as you can see on the two images. In addition, usually also, the height of the proximal bonding area is larger at the central incisor because there is not this triangular um, shape of the canine. So we have a larger or higher connector height between the pontic and the retainer wing. That's the second advantage. A third advantage, which is also I think quite important, is that the lateral incisor under functional load is moving in the same direction as the central incisor. So when the mandible is protruding, both teeth are uh, loaded in the same direction. That is in contrast to the canine. The canine is mostly loaded when the mandible moves to the lateral side. And then, of course, it's a completely different loading direction. So I think from the functional point of view, it's better also to use the central incisor as a button. The last advantage, not so important maybe, but also to be considered, is of course that the bonding surface on the canine is visible when one is looking so from, from a lower direction up to the canine and it might be visible. In contrast, the bonding surface on the central incisor is not visible from outside. It might be only visible if someone would be lying on the beach, for example, having the head turned up and then someone else would look on the palatal or oral surface of the central incisor. But that is not a usual condition. So, to summarize, in most instances it is better to use the central incisor as abutment and not the canine. Of course, the canine has a larger or longer root uh, and so the root is more stable, but the stability of the root of the central incisor is absolutely adequate and sufficient to uh, carry or to support a lateral incisor. It is even stable enough to support a missing central incisor. So we can easily bond also a missing central incisor uh, who was lost, for example, due to a trauma to a central incisor. So it is not needed to have the strength of the root of the canine. So I hope this explanation was helpful and I hope to see you back soon.